Hello and welcome back to the Climbing Nomads YouTube channel. In this episode we're going to have a look at taping and this is specifically taping for sore skin or split fingertips. Firstly, if you're just starting out and climbing, the best thing to do is to let your skin toughen up over time, um, rather than just taping up every time it feels sore when you're at the climbing gym, and then it'll never adapt to, to actually climbing. Taping up does have its cons, so you do lose sensitivity once you put some tape on, and it doesn't grip quite as well as, as it would do with just normal skin. Uh, secondly, when you start sort of taping up and then the, the contact between the tape and the skin, you might start sweating and then the tape feels like it's sliding off as well. If you do end up with really sore skin or a split fingertip or something and you must finish your project or you've got a red point or some sort of boulder project, then taping might be uh, an option to look at. When choosing tape, um, choose actual climbing tape. So you can get sort of sporting strapping tape, which looks like climbing tape, but it's actually stretchy and it doesn't work as well as uh, properly designed climbing tape. The climbing tape is non-stretch, it's sticky and it's very easy to tear as well so you can pull it out in strips and rip it off without the need for scissors. So we're going to show you two taping methods. The first one is going to be for sore skin uh, and it's just a fairly generic way of taping, taping up a finger. So fingers aren't uniform in shape, they're not like one general straight down shape so if you've got sort of thin tape you can't just sort of wrap it, well you could just wrap it around but you end up with sort of baggy sections and bits that you have to sort of squash in on itself. So first off we'll do a very generic uh, taping of either sore skin or maybe crack down sort of further down the finger. So take a small section of tape, a thin section of tape and how wide it's going to be is going to be dependent on your finger size. Um, so I've got quite small fingers so I'll use quite a narrow section of tape. Um, it being thinner and narrower means that you can actually manoeuvre it around the finger a little bit better um, so it can mould to the shape of your finger better. Say for instance if I've got like a sore patch on the tips of my fingers, on the actual pad itself, I might want to tape that bit up. So I'll start the taping on the back of the finger, probably on the fingernail is a good anchor as well, you can really get a nice bit of tape stuck on there. And as close to the tip as possible to cover the saw patch, wrap around and as you wrap, wrap downwards so from fingertip down towards the base is the direction that will tape and this means that when you're climbing the direction that you sort of pull off of a hold the tape will actually flow in that direction so you won't snag anything. So as you wrap you can see and you'll notice the edges of the tape actually sort of flow in that direction to allow allow you to grip on and not snag. So go as far as you need to with wrapping, wrapping to cover the saw patch and then to finish it, finish the tape on the back of the hand. So again it's not in the way of underneath any of here when you're actually going to be using it for climbing um, so you don't want that tape to come off uh, mid climb. So just sort of squeeze it just to get it all sticking together and as a final check do check that you're, you've still got circulation in the fingertip and you're not actually cut off that circulation by making it too tight. You want it to be snug and tight enough but you don't want it to be so tight that you're going to lose sensitivity in your finger and, and cut off blood supply. So I don't know if you can see that's the that's the direction so as as you would hold on to something as you would pull on it all the tape edges roll straight off of the hold itself so it's not going to catch um, on those edges. So that's just generic finger taping and that can be applied to fingertips if you've got sort of sore patches there, it can be applied to the middle here if you have got a bit of a flapper there perhaps you might want to tape that up or sometimes I quite often get deep cracks in the in the creases there and I might need to tape up that when that starts to get really sore. So second method of taping will be if um, you're feeling like that general wrapping isn't actually secure enough on the fingertips or if you've actually managed to split the tip of your finger itself. Just the wrapping on its own won't actually cover a split tip um, right at the end. So to tape that, to start off with we'll get a piece of tape and then wrap it 
from the joint over the split and then down the back of the finger. Do make sure that your tape is actually wide enough to cover the split itself. It's no good having the tape um, too narrow and not covering that split, that's what you want. Really press it and work it into the skin and also into the back on the fingernail itself and that'll really hold the tape in place when you come to do the second part. So then just do the technique that we did previously and start at the tip end and then wrap it downwards towards the base of the finger covering uh, back over the, the strip that we've already put in place. And some people find that this holds the tape a lot better in place you don't get so much of a slipping effect it also just works to seal up any splits in there if you have got a split tip do you make sure that you s cover the end of the first piece of tape so you don't end up with a snagging issue and again finish it on the back of the hand and just finally just pinch all those bits together so that you haven't got any straggly bits so if you find that that method of taping the fingertip isn't isn't working for you and you're still feeling like the tape's actually sliding off rather than just it, having the a strip of tape coming from the first knuckle over the top you can have that strip of tape instead coming from the second knuckle all the way around to the back as well uh, just to extend it and extending the wrapping all the way down to that to that knuckle and that'll just make it a little bit more secure um, so to do that do exactly as we had done tape over the top, wrap it down to the knuckle, the first knuckle, and then now just bend, if you can, sort of bend the tip a little bit and bring the tape at a diagonal across, wrap it, wrap it round to secure it in place, even going back up again, just try and cover those, those extra seams there. once more and then aiming to get the bottom of that tape there so again you don't have so much of a snagging issue but by bending your finger also means when you come to climb you don't end up with a completely rigid finger um, because you've taped it all up and again finishing on the back of the finger again just press it all together and it'll, it'll anchor it a little bit better than just on the fingertip but you do lose quite a lot of range of motion on that um, and you do create like a very slight snagging issue just at the cross there as well uh, when you do that. So that's just a quick video on how to do taping up for sore skin or a split tip. Uh, we haven't covered injuries in this episode and we might do that at a later date um, but for now it's just taping for superficial skin injuries. Hope you found that useful. We do have other videos and tutorials so check those out on our channel uh, and remember to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.